I'm Jonathan and today we're going to cover a more internet custom tasks and in this case we're going to look at FTP custom tasks. We're going to look at all of them. Uploading an FTP file, downloading an FTP file, creating an FTP directory, deleting an FTP file, all of those things we'll cover in this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. So there's two places that you can get to for an FTP custom task. First, let's take a look at going to it from within inside of a schedule or even an existing schedule. Let's go ahead and open up a schedule and then go down to the custom task tab. Okay, scroll all the way down until you get to the internet section and then you'll see, um, you might need to expand this out, but you'll see all of the FTP custom tasks there. Upload, download, delete, create. You can also go to, uh, if you go and start an automation schedule or an existing automation schedule, you can also get to it there. Simply start the schedule and then go to, uh, once you reach the custom task section, go ahead and scroll away all the way down again and then um, all of your FTP custom tasks will show up there as well. First we're going to cover uh, FTP upload. So we're going to go ahead and name this task here. <clears throat> and there's two different ways we can look at it, simple or advanced. Let's talk about simple first. Go ahead and click on the plus button to go ahead and add a file to be uploaded. And then simply select the file um, that you want to upload. And then keep doing that um, until you have added all the files that you want to add uh, or upload by FTP. Next is time to choose your FTP server and authenticate to it. So under FTP server, go ahead and put in the name of your FTP server below. And then under username, go ahead and uh, enter your username and your password for authentication. Um, your port number if necessary. And then select the type of FTP that you want to use. These are the ones that we support. Click on verify to verify that all the information is correct and is connecting. And then under FTP directory, go ahead and either type in or click the triple dots to browse to uh, the FTP directory that you want to use or upload to rather. Clicking on the advanced tab, you can actually do some more well advanced things such as using inserts or wildcards to customize or uh, dynamically pull in multiple uh, uh, FT files to be uploaded by FTP. So under the files, go ahead and select the file that you wish to upload. Um, clicking on the recursive button, you can actually pull in all the files that have the same name um, throughout the throughout all of that folder and the subfolders as well. The recreate folder structure will actually recreate exactly what it says that folder structure on the FTP server. And then um, go ahead and uh, enter in all of your, uh, your authentication and FTP server information below as well. Next, we're going to cover download an FTP, download a file via FTP. Drag it over to the right, and then we'll go ahead and name the task here. Okay, now we're going to indicate the FTP server that we wish to download um, this file from. So go ahead and type in the name of your FTP server in the FTP server field and then go ahead and authenticate it using your username and password. Um, don't forget to uh, make sure you have the correct port number and then also select your FTP type as well. Next up under FTP path um, you can browse to um, using your information to the FTP directory that holds the file you're clicking on the triple dots or you can type in the file that um, or you can type in the directory rather um, where the file is located. Under selected file, um, go ahead and indicate the file name that uh, that you wish to download. And then under recursive and recreate folder, you can select those options as well, just like we were speaking a little bit earlier. Download to this folder, um, basically go ahead and either browse to or type in the directory on your machine that you want this file to be downloaded to. 
and the overwrite with existing file that means well if that file has the same name in that directory go ahead and delete it alright let's go ahead and cover delete a file via FTP drag it over to the right and we will um, go ahead and name our task first and then under FTP server we will indicate all of our login information as we have been um, such as your FTP server, your username, password, FTP type, and port number. Okay, under FTP file path, go ahead and browse to by clicking on the triple dots or manually type in the, f the file path via FTP of the file that you wish to delete. Simple as that. Okay, <clears throat> next we're going to cover create a uh, FTP directory. Go ahead and drag it over to the right and then um, under task name once again we will name our task okay as we've been doing go ahead and enter in all of your authentication and server information for your FTP server and now it's time to select the base FTP directory this is going to be the primary directory where you're going to be creating the new directory um, just put a slash or indicate the file there and then under new directory name simply type in the name of the new directory All right, and finally, let's look at delete if a directory via FTP. Let's go ahead and name that task, and then uh, again, we'll enter our server information and authentication information for the FTP server. Okay, now under delete this directory, go ahead and pick the directory by browsing or typing in the directory that you wish to delete. Now, one thing that's also great, again, looking at inserts you can actually take your inserts and say if you're using an event-based schedule or you have a data-driven schedule or um, you know you have data items you can drag and drop those into any of the fields of your custom task so for example if you had a particular uh, FTP server you use quite frequently you can do it that way under the certificate tab if you uh, you can enter in all of your validation certificates and if you're using a proxy server you can uh, enter that information on the proxy tab as well okay now all of these options um, have a options tab where you can actually decide whether you want this task to be executed before a report schedule after a scheduled report or both before and after the scheduled report this is available for all of the schedules um, that are report schedules. There's also more options such as uh, after successful schedule delivery or after successful report production. Those are actually two different things. Um, for report delivery, it means that if the report has been already delivered um, as it's been run and delivered to its destination, then the task will run after that. After successful report production means that the report has now been run through CRD and is ready for delivery, but hasn't been sent yet. So in between the time of it being sent and run, we'll go ahead and execute the task. This is particularly helpful for deferred delivery. So that's it. These are all of our custom tasks here for FTP upload a file. Excellent. And your task will show up in the list here and you can easily disable or enable the task by checking or unchecking the box there. Clicking on the delete button, you can delete that task altogether. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this tutorial on FTP custom tasks, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.